Hello, welcome to Conexão Britânica, the biggest British English channel in Brazil. In this video, we will continue on this format of uh, an English class in English, where uh, we are going to talk about the simple past. We already had one video of this series. If you want to see it, I will be putting a card up here where you can access that after this one. And as I said, we're going to talk about the simple past, how to use it, how to make it and how to pronounce some of the structures. All right, so sit comfortably, grab a pen, a pencil, an eraser, a sheet of paper to take note of everything I'm going to say, and let's go for the video. Okay, the first thing we should know about the simple past is that we have a context, a proper context to use the simple past. And opposingly of what some teachers say in class or, or some methodology says in, in, in some schools. Uh, simple past is not only about one thing. We have several different contexts we can use the simple past. It's talking about the past, of course, I know that. And of course, you do know that. However, how are we going to express ourselves in that past using the simple past? Take a look. First thing. We are talking about things that happen in one isolated moment in the past. What do I mean by that? This a fact that happened in a certain moment, started there, finished there, and there's no relevance in the present. Which means uh, it's something that you're just mentioning that happened. Mentioning the fact and the proper moment. All right. The second thing are things that were true in the moment that the fact happened. For example, if I say the sky was blue when I got here, it was true in that moment. It might not be blue now, but at that moment it was true. So it was blue. And yes, I said earlier, you mentioning the proper time in the past. Why is that? Simple past is a verb tense that, as we already know, it's about something that happened in a proper moment in the past. So we have to mention this moment in our sentence. And it has to be specific. Uh, for example, in the previous sentence I said, it was, the sky was blue when I got here. When I got here is the moment I arrived at a certain point in a certain place, right? But also, you can use last week, yesterday, two months ago, or the last time it happened on my birthday, in the day I was born, etc, etc, etc. When we are referring to isolated moments, to little dots in this past timeline, then we have to mention, and we use simple past for that. The second thing we have to remember when we use a simple past, not in terms of context, but in terms of structure, is that we have two types of verbs. Of course, the verb is in the past form, okay? Irregular verbs are verbs that change their forms when conjugated into the past form. And of course, other forms as well. But in the past form, we have a different form than the base form of the verb. For example, if I say, I go to the park today, if I change it to the past, I'll say, I went to the park yesterday. And you see that the verb to go change into went when it's in the past form. So pay very close attention to this because irregular verbs are a big part of your speech and it's a real big part on everybody's routine. So pay very close attention. For, for you that have difficulties with irregular verbs, as I used to have, I'll leave in the description of the, the video a link for our blog where I put the complete list of all the irregular verbs in English with their conjugations. Okay, just click there and then you can access all of the verbs. All right, and so the third thing you have to remember is when you switch, you transform those sentences into questions or, the, or negative sentence, you have to use the auxiliary verb did. It will be part of your sentence all the time. 
otherwise you're saying something grammatically wrong. For example, if you say, what did you do last year? So I'm asking about your activities in the year before. All right. You can say, I worked as a teacher, but I only taught kids, which means I didn't teach adults. So you can see there that I use did as a, uh, an auxiliary verb for my negative sentence when I say I didn't teach adults and in my interrogative sentence when I say what did you do last year. But pay attention to something very, very, very important. When you use the auxiliary verb did, the verb that is in the past form comes back to its base form. So when I say I taught only kids, Taught is the past form of verb to teach. Then I said I didn't teach adults. So verb to teach comes back to its base form. So pay very close attention to this. And in the fourth and last thing you have to remember, we use the simple past to say how often we did things in the past. Or for example, where were our habits back in the day when we were kids? or when we were teenagers or younger, it depends, right? For example, I got up at seven o'clock every morning when I was in school. So which means that every school day I got up, I woke up, I got out of the bed at seven in the morning. Today, do I do this today? I don't know, maybe yes, maybe no, it depends on the day. Or for example, how often did you eat fast food when you were a child? Yeah, so I didn't used to eat very much. I didn't used to eat very much in terms of fast food when I was a child. It was just a few days a month. But how about you? How often did you eat fast food when you were a child? Or she used to go to the gym four times a week when she was younger. Or she used to go to the gym four times a week last year. So she doesn't go to the gym that much today, but last year she used to go four times a week. Or maybe this year she, she's going six days a week. We don't know, we never know. And so this was our video about the simple past in our English class in English. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, just subscribe in the channel if you haven't, just click on the, that little bell down to, to receive all the notifications from YouTube and share with your friends, okay? Thank you so much for your view and I see you in the next class or in any other video, okay? So, bye-bye, take care.